Now to the election interference case in which former President Donald Trump is expected to surrender to authorities. Yeah, that's happening today. Channel Chanel McCarthy joins us in the studio with the very latest for us. Good morning, Chanel. Good morning, guys. Donald Trump announced on social media he will be turning himself into the Fulton County Jail in Georgia. That's where he'll be fingerprinted and have his mugshot taken. So far, a number of Trump's co-defendants have already been booked, including his former attorney, Rudy Giuliani, who prosecutors say they spread false claims of election fraud after the 2020 election. Giuliani was released on a $150,000 bond. The former president and the Republican presidential frontrunner told Tucker Carlson in an interview he's not concerned that his legal troubles will hurt his campaign. He says, if anything, it's boosting support while bringing harsh criticism to Fulton County prosecutor Fonnie Willis. The people see it like this horrible district attorney. She said, basically, I don't have any right to challenge an election. DA Fonnie Willis says she is honoring the deadline for co-defendants to turn themselves in by noon on Friday. She warned that if anyone has not shown by that time, she will be filing an arrest warrant. Yeah, we'll have more on this developing story throughout the day, of course. Chanel, thank you very much.